Hello everyone, Jeff from RespawnStudios.com and EasyXbox360Achievements.com Back with part 3 of my character's guide on Lego Harry Potter years 5 to 7 um, As you can see, this is a lengthy video, but it's actually only covering 28 characters So I'm actually going to need a fourth part, so just try and bear with me uh, This is in the library, you just have to be a Ravenclaw character And there is a uh, potion thing right in the room outside of this so right here, I think I'm Marcus Belby, but you could be Luna. And then you just uh, activate the portrait. And then you use the red spell, Defindo. Trace the shape of the key. And then you use Wingardium Leviosa to make the key. And then use it again to put it in the door. And we are going to get both a red brick and a character. I think I actually leave the red brick part in. <laughs> But again, um, this is a lengthy video, but we're only going to cover 28 characters, so I think the last video is going to have around 50 characters. And I think I only need one more red brick uh, video footage, and then I'll have the second part of that up. Alright, so now we are in the greenhouse. And you just have to be Hermione to use your beaded bag. And actually, I don't even think this step is really needed. Because um, when you're using this giant sweeper, over there to the right, um, when you jump off of it, you fly pretty freaking high into the air. And I was just never able to get it for some reason. Like, maybe it makes you have to use Hermione's bag and then you're able to get it. But when you jump off it in general, like right there, you just go really high in the air and get Arthur Cardigan. Alright, this is outside of Hagrid's hut. And again, we're using Hermione's beaded bag. And you get this little pumpkin flying vehicle. And that makes the character token appear. And then you could be anyone. And you just hit Y to hang on. And then use, I think, right trigger to gain altitude. So make sure you're high enough. And there we go. Bellatrix Azkaban. Alright, this is outside of the um, Slytherin room, in the hallway with all of the common rooms. So you need dark magic, I believe, to pull that piece above the door down, and then Hermione has to use, once again, her beaded bag. And then you get that, and then you're able to break down the door, and then you get Blaze Zabini. Alright, this is in the potions classroom, accessible through one of the uh, main foyers. It's that center door, it's the um, down staircase. You have to use, um, I guess really any spell, you just have to um, aim it, and you knock the glass off of the four frogs. It's kind of confusing when I had these white arrows on, because it like, <laughs> I kept thinking it was like in that bookcase, when I was like, oh wait, it's right there, derp. And then we get Charity Burbage. Alright, this is an area off of that Quidditch and Hagrid's Hut area. You, at the bottom left of the screen, I think you have to use Hermione's bag and you open up this area. And then when you come down to the bottom, you just have to use a strong pull and you get Crab. Alright, this is outside of the Great Hall. I thought there was like something to this where you had to destroy this flame thing, but you simply walk behind it. And you get Dean Thomas. Okay, this is in the Slytherin common room itself. You have to be someone with parcel tongue. And then you just stand here and put in the sequence. And this gate's going to open and we could walk in. Draco sweater. All right. This is another area. This um, off of Hagrid's hut, just past it, in the like lower right corner of the screen of that outside area of Hogwarts. You can access this area with Thestrals. And then you need to be a dark wizard to use dark magic to free that other piece that I just jumped on to raise the other one. So be sure to be in uh, free play and bring a dark wizard. And then it just makes that character token appear when you stand on the rock, push it down. Alright, this is in the um, divination classroom. 
For this, you have to destroy each of those three. Uh, I don't even know what they were. <laughs> but when you destroy them, they release pieces. And when you put them together, you make that giant teacup. And you get a character token. Neville Pajamas. All right, we are back in the library. You have to use dark magic, I believe, on that chest. And then you're able to create this fan, and then you just jump up into it. And it shoots you into the air to get Madam Irma Pints. This is now in the Hufflepuff common room. You just hit the flowers with a spell, and it makes this wreath. Well, sort of wreath <laughs> around the picture. I guess it's just an archway of vines, and you get the character token. And we are now in the Gryffindor common room. You have to be Ron. Get the light in his deluminator. Bring it over to the picture and release the light. And you immediately get McGonagall pajamas. All right, this is during a story mission. I want to say this is 5-3. It's the Snape and Harry memories level. Well, I guess it's Harry's memories, but it's the level you play with Snape. And you just have to use Reducto on that chest and then the strong pull. All right, this is now in the... Um, oh, this is back in the Hufflepuff common room, sorry. Use Reducto on that chest, I believe, and then you just hit it and get a character token. Okay, this is back in that area below um, Hagrid's hut with the Thestrals. And you just have to use um, any character that could dig. So like the Neville variant that has the shovel. Or you could use uh, like Crookshanks. And then it makes that chest appear. You hit it and you get Padma Patil. This is in the Astronomy Tower. You have to switch to a character with a key. So in this case it's Mrs. Cole. You just hit right bumper to switch between characters. You should always have one that has a key automatically. And I was confused. I was like, what the hell? This isn't letting me do anything. Um, but there are more pieces that came out of that box. So I have to run back over there and use Wingardium Leviosa again. For some reason, I thought it related to that. <laughs> All right. I was trying to hit that ball. All right, here we go. Now I'm starting to notice the pieces. And it makes a lantern with the light. So now we have to switch to Ron and use the Deluminator. So you bring the light in, and just as the earlier uh, character token, you bring the light over to a painting, and you release it into that. Here we go. The guy really freaking threw it. <laughs> there we go, Professor McGonagall. All right, this is back in the divination classroom. You just have to use Agumenti on that water tank. And you get Professor Trelawney. All right, this is the area outside of the tent, which again is accessible um, once you beat the game in the streets of London. You have to disapparate here. And there are going to be these three horses, things, <laughs> running around. And you just hit them with spells, and they run over here and then do this crazy coordinated dance. <laughs> That's one of the random Lego game things. There's always some weird dance, like the skeletons are always dancing. And I guess that's Hermione over there by that one, <laughs> freaking out. <laughs> but once they finish, you get character token for Remus Lupin. Alright, now another long video. This is kind of amazing. You have to be Ron, use the Deluminator again, pull the light in. This is off the covered bridge. This is the Hagrid Hut area again. And you bring it down here to the Quidditch pitch. 
which you had to, um, I think, use a spell to put something up there. I'm not sure. But regardless, you have to use the illuminator anyway to bring the light down. And then when you come in here, this is just a little time sequence. Once you make a full loop, it's over. And I wasn't sure like what to do <laughs> exactly. Um, so I missed this first character token, but I'm going to show right after this when I came back and got it. And you can repeat this as many times as you want, but when it finishes, you exit. So you just have to come back into the area. So there we picked up Ron Quidditch. And a gold brick, actually. There's another character token for Nymphadora Tonks. And here's the end. We get a buttload of Lego bricks. Alright, so you see there, I was like, no. <laughs> I thought you were able to go around again. Alright, but this is me returning. You see all the Lego studs are gone. But I get to the top left of the screen to be able to get Madam Hooch. Alright, this is back in the greenhouse. You have to be a dark wizard in the back right corner. And you get Slughorn Young. Alright, this is back in that story mission with the Harry memory sequences. You need to be a Weasley character, so in this case Ron, because it's a story mission. Well, I guess it doesn't have to be anyone because it is also in free play, so. But anyway, you have to be a Weasley, you put on the shoes, you use Wingardium Leviosa to make that walkway go up, and then you get the Snape variant. Alright, this is in the Ravenclaw, um, right off of that common room hallway before you get to the Ravenclaw common room itself there's this uh, Ravenclaw sort of hallway staircase and you just have to be a dark wizard in free play you break the vines you get a student in peril and you also get Marcus Belby okay this is in the great hall um, it's not that one it's the um, banner right next to it. You just hit it with a spell and you get the Bloody Baron token. That Slytherin banner. And now finally, our last two of this video. These are both in the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. You have to be a dark wizard to use that treasure chest. First, the treasure chest blows up and you get Umbridge Wizengamot. And then you have to use Wingardium Leviosa to put these three pieces on the dragon. I was having a hard time getting the uh, spell <laughs> glow around the objects. but Alright, so this is going to do it for part three of our character's guide. Hope you enjoyed and thank you for watching. I'll try and have part four out soon.